back to the channel. I'm super happy for this portion of the video. So I have a very special guest. This is Brittany. Hi. Who is a fifth year child neuro resident. And she's gonna talk to us today about the entire residency program and what it's like to be a child neurologist. Um, <laughs> so we'll start off with a couple of questions. So just tell us a little bit more about yourself. Like, where are you from? Where'd you go to school? All that good stuff. I am from here in Indianapolis. I was actually born at Methodist Hospital. Went to undergrad at Butler University. I stayed at IU for med school. Residency too. <laughs> wow, so all Indiana. Yeah. Nice. That's nice. You have family here too? Yeah, pretty much my entire family lives in the state of Indiana, so. Nice. Okay, awesome. Why do you like this specialty? Yeah, um, I feel like child neurology is interesting because a lot of people don't even know that it exists as a field and, and like as its own residency program too. I think that child neurology is cool because I really like working with kids. And I think neurology is really fun. A unique field too because it's a lot more like thought process and trying to figure yeah. out kind of like mysteries and solving a puzzle yeah. than like doing the same thing and doing the same thing over and over and over again every day. I would say that the primary thing that we treat as child neurologists is seizures. We use the kind of the analogy that seizures is to child neurology what strokes are to adult neurology. That is probably true. <laughs> because on the inpatient side, a lot of our consults are about seizures. Mm -hmm. A lot of the patients we see in the outpatient portion as well. Mm -hmm. But we do see a lot of other things too. Um, headaches are pretty common in yeah. kids as well as adults. Developmental delay, hypotonia or hypertonia, yeah. other kind of weird yeah, smaller stuff. like autoimmune stuff, strokes in kids, yeah, yeah. Um, all sorts of different things that you can see. Now, why did I decide to go into child neuro? Like I said, I really knew that I wanted to work with kids probably you know, even before I started med school. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so that was pretty easy for me to decide. And it was also pretty easy for me to decide that I didn't want to be in the OR. Yeah. And so then I was kind of left with like peds and then the peds subspecialties. And I think really I got lucky because I was able to do some child neuro during my yeah. neurology clerkship in the neuro NICU here. So working ah. with the neonates and the ICU, that was when I even learned that it was a field. And I loved my month so much. I felt like I was so excited to come to work every day. I was so excited to learn and see these patients. I feel like it all just kind of came together for me. Awesome, I feel like I have the same story. Now doing my elective, I'm like super sad that today was my last day. And I've never been sad to leave a rotation before. <laughs> what do you love most about child neuro? What do you love? least about it and what's the hardest part about child neuro in your opinion? I love child neuro because the patients are so much fun. I love my coworkers. I love everybody that I work with and I like that every patient is different. You have to kind of think through the best way to diagnose and treat each individual patient but also get to have a lot of fun along the way. I think what I like least about child neuro is the fact that Sometimes we can't discover an answer as to why a child is having seizures. We just aren't able yeah. to yeah. determine it right now. Yeah, and sure. that can be really hard and frustrating. <laughs> yeah, I definitely noticed that on my rotation as well. Just like, you know, running through tests because you just can't find a, like, mm -hmm. a cause for something. To be a child neurologist, you have to be comfortable having kind of difficult conversations with parents oh and patients yeah. and like some of the more sad cases, something that has taken time to get comfortable with. Definitely agree. I know on my rotation, I got to see like the whole dynamic of talking to family about a hard situation and it was just the saddest thing I've, I've ever had to witness, but mm -hmm. also not everyone knows how to do that correctly and I feel yeah. like child neurology definitely does it more than other specialists. So now we're going to transition into like residency talk. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit more about residency. Like how many years is it? What are you doing each year? Like the program size, how large is it? Yeah, so child neurology residency is, is categorical and it's five years total. There's also neurodevelopmental disabilities mm -hmm. residency, which is kind of tied hand in hand with us, okay. but that's six year residency. Okay. So at least here, I think every program kind of a little bit differently, but here we kind of do it in blocks. So 
we do our first two years of residency is solely our pediatrics training um, and general pe to become like a general pediatrician basically. Our intern year, we're grouped in with the pediatrics interns and we do the exact same things that they do. Second year, we're still kind of grouped in with the peds residents and our, our uh, curriculum is still essentially the same. It's just slightly modified because we have to meet all of those requirements mm -hmm. in those two years, whereas okay. the PEDS residents have three. Yeah. yeah. After that year is over, um, here we have like a little transition month, the last month of PGY2 year, um, that's called Brain Camp. And oh, wow. we kind of, that is the moment where we get grouped in with the adult neurology okay. um, residents who are also transitioning from their um, like prelim medicine year into neurology oh. training. And so we get a bunch of lectures, we get to do some simulations, we get to visit like our clinics and do tours of the hospitals and stuff. And PGY3 year is all adult neurology. I was essentially an adult neurology wow. resident just with grouped in with the same group um, who was also starting out okay. their neurology training. So it was a lot easier transition. Yeah. GY four and five year, still like neurology training, but more and more pediatric neurology training. And then PGY five year is really focused on becoming a child neurologist. So six months of outpatient clinic, working with each of the different child neurology staff, okay, one on one, and doing like NDA clinic and, and cerebral palsy clinic and all of the different specialty clinics that we have. And then I do four months of the inpatient consult team, okay. and then I have two elective months. So five years total, two years pediatrics, one year adult neurology, and then the last two years are going to be like your uh, child neurology. So what specialties do you work with or work closely with inpatient or even outpatient? A lot. <laughs> I feel like we work, we obviously work very closely with neurosurgery, co-managing mm -hmm. patients, especially in our epilepsy program. Epilepsy surgeries and things are all like combined with our epileptologist and the neurosurgeon pretty closely with the rehab PM&R doctors as well, kind of co-managing patients' tone. We work closely with genetics and metabolism True. as well. And we even have some people who kind of specialize in both and work together on oh. some of the more complex patients. We work really closely with neuroradiology. It's, okay. it's, it's pretty common that we're down in the reading room discussing patients and imaging findings mm -hmm. with them. And we do like a conference every other week with them too. What can you do after residency? Like some programs offer fellowships, like in other specialties. Are there any fellowships you can do after the five years of child neuro? Yeah, so I would say that the two kind of major fellowships that you see um, like out of child neurology and adult neurology are um, epilepsy fellowship okay. and then um, neuromuscular or like more EMG kind of okay. fellowship. So more of a procedure base. So I'm applying to uh, Peds Neurocritical Care Fellowship, which is obviously oh, wow. a lot smaller kind of field. Okay. More specializing and taking care of kids like pediatric patients who are neurocritically ill so they're in like the pediatric ICU okay. um, the cardiovascular ICU or like the neonatal ICU so most of the neurology fellowships are all like typically like one extra year of this. okay not too bad what does a day in your life look like I know you're a, a fifth year resident um, but what does it look like as a resident and how does it differ from an attending both in the inpatient and outpatient so inpatient here, uh, we are consult service only. Mm -hmm. Officially, the workday starts at eight, okay. and we will kind of pre-run on our patients just right. like any other service does on inpatient. Go see them, examine them, kind of touch base with nursing and primary teams if they have any major questions before rounds. Some days we do rounds starting in the neuro NICU with the neuro NICU team, okay. and we'll like see an interesting patient or do an exam on a baby in the NICU. Once we're done with rounds, we kind of start working on the new consults. Typically we have pretty much every day over the lunch hour, some sort of learning didactic. After that, we're typically kind of finishing up new consults, writing our notes, kind of getting in touch with the primary teams with our recommendations. Every day at 2.30, we meet up um, with the hospitalist team because that is the team that cares for the majority of our patients. Workday ends at four. Okay. Outpatient side is typically the same kind of hours, like eight yeah. to four, just seeing patients in clinic in the morning and afternoon. So we have our own kind of continuity clinic 
one afternoon a week. Okay. Um, and that is where I see my own kind of child neurology patients right. and one of the attendees kind of staffs them with me. I typically have four to six because I could have two news and two returns. Okay. Or sometimes they'll kind of break up some of my new patient slots into more return slots if I need to see more okay. of those. As far as attending life, I can't say for sure how different it will yeah. be yet, but when they are on service, they're typically on for the week, um, Monday through Friday. They're pretty much the same hours that we are there typically. They have um, their own kind of call schedule that they right. have from home. Talking to some of the attendings, they actually told me that uh, they only do like inpatient maybe six weeks out of the entire year. Because most specialties are usually inpatient for like everything that we do. Yeah. So. I like it just because I want to do some inpatient, but I mostly want to do a lot of outpatient. So like going off of that, do you think child neuro is a lifestyle specialty? So like, I would consider surgery to not be a lifestyle specialty. Yeah, absolutely. I think so. That was something that was very important to me. I like that I have the time and the ability to do other things that I want to do and different hobbies and stuff, even as a resident, which is very nice. So what plans do you have after graduation and when do you graduate actually? I will graduate next June, next so June. a okay. year from now. And so I'm, I'm working on figuring all of that out right now actually. I have applied to fellowship in neurocritical care for peds and so I'll be interviewing here in the coming months. And do you have any advice or tips or anything for like the viewers watching? It's just going to be mostly students who are undergrad, high school, interested in medicine. Like what pieces of advice can you give them? It is a very long road and I think that my best yeah. advice is to try to have as much fun as you can along the way. Yes. I mean, I think it's so easy to get so wrapped up in like whatever test you have coming up next or like making sure you're impressing your residents that you're working with oh or the attendings you're working with. You have a much better experience if you try to forget all of that and just try to enjoy what you're doing and yes. enjoy getting to know new people and new patients and taking out of everything what you can. <laughs> I think that's so true. Look, at the end of the day, everything's going to work out um, mm -hmm. as long as you're doing what you love and you have like the right intentions. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So that's the end of our video with Brittany. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned more about child neuro. And I hope you're interested. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me um, through the email and I'll put it down here. Any questions at all about not only child neuro, but about medicine. But thank you guys for watching. And of course, thank you, Brittany, for yeah. taking the time out of your busy schedule to speak with us. But um, this Thanks has been for awesome. Having me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.